All right, here we go again with the Phyllis plant battery, and uh, Gina and I are working real hard on this, trying to get more power out of it. And uh, she discovered, and she is right, that the way to get more power out of the plant battery is you increase the surface area of the metals, that's copper and magnesium. And the reason I wasn't getting enough power out of it is there's not enough surface area in the plant and what she's doing which is what I'm trying to do here as a demonstration is you put a lot more surface area in the electrolyte and this is just tap water there's no um, no soil on this I'd have to put this in the plant to really replicate it but uh, she was getting three milliamps at a one and a half volts out of her latest plant battery so I'm simulating that here it's a whole string of um, magnesium ribbon and a whole coil basically of copper wire in an electrolyte. Now the plant can handle that quite nicely so I'm not going to worry about that. Phyllis can handle quite a bit I found out. So, But what that's doing, that's allowing me to run a Bedini SSG and this is my little bobbin Bedini right here and once I found out that she was getting three milliamps out of it I knew this motor would run on three milliamps at one and a half volts. I'm coming out of the um, battery here using a little capacitor before I go into the Bedini SSG and that's causing this uh, electromagnet and uh, magnet here to spin around and create a back spike which is coming off the diode here and that coil collapses I get a back spike comes around here and it goes into my Phyllis inverter circuit and there's the voltage at the capacitor at the Phyllis inverter. And this is what I have in an automatic on-off mode now using a phototransistor. And when I cover this up with my hand here, you'll see these lights come on. And that's happening while the motor is running. And so the answer to get the power out of these plant batteries is you increase the surface area of the metal. Now the quantity of metal in that magnesium and copper is probably less than what's in that plant, but the surface area is more. So that's where we're heading right now is incre increasing the surface area of the cathode and electrode a cathode and anode of the battery in the plant battery to get the power we need to run devices. And like I say, this is a Bedini SSG, my, what I call my bobbin Bedini, and it's running this uh, magnet in here, spinning it up. That's causing a back spike when that coil collapses coming out of the diode, the switching diode, which is running this circuit right here. I can turn this blink rate way down if you want to see this blink here. There's the blinking. And then I can turn it up higher. Make it come on just about constant. There it's on constant. But anyway, I wanted to share that with people that um, if you want to make these plant batteries produce the power to actually run a device, that's the way to do it. Thanks for watching.